Hi everyone, this is Kanis from Studio Kara. I imagine, I create and I hope to inspire you along the way. If you want to follow me in my journey, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. As mentioned in my last video, you asked for it and I'm here to provide. Last month I asked you guys in my community poll what kind of content you wanted and the majority of you said more bullet journal themes, basically multiple per month instead of only one. So I got myself a brand new journal to start making those extra themes. So far I've used only blank journals so I decided to grab a dot grid journal for these bonus themes. In this video I will be setting up my July bullet journal theme in the new dot grid journal. For those of you who didn't know, this is not my original bullet journal, for that I use a completely different one. If you want to check that out, I will leave a link in the description and in the info icon. The theme for July in this journal is labyrinth, maze or puzzle, whatever you want to call it. I wanted to play around with the dots as this is my first dot grid journal and whilst connecting the dots over and over again in a sort of a puzzle-like pattern, I came up with this labyrinth or maze looking layout. Before we start, I have a little flip through of the setup of this journal. If you want to see the process video for this, I will leave a link in the description and in the info icon. I had a lot of fun working on that setup with my unique drawing stencil that I designed, so definitely check it out before or after you watch this video. I will be using my drawing stencil in this setup a lot as well. Aside from the stencil dedicated reflection hourglass spread as I call it, I'll be mainly using it as a ruler or a guide throughout this setup. I will go into more detail later in another dedicated stencil video. For the title spread in this setup, I'll start with drawing out a labyrinth with an opening in one part of the page where the writing prompt for this month will go. I tried to match it with this month's theme as well, so I hope you like it. Let me know in the comments what you think. for this month is he followed her journey as she wandered through the labyrinth wondering why she seemed at peace lost in this maze he mused is one truly lost if they are not searching for a way to escape as always take this piece as you like a poem or prompt literally or metaphorically as a writing prompt drawing prompt or as any kind of inspiration to create something just be sure to share it with me I would love to read, hear or see it. I write one for every month, so if you're interested, you can check out the other month's prompts as well. For the Dutch door title page, I wrote out the letters for July, trying to maintain the same style as the labyrinth on the opposite page. The letters kind of overlapping each other as if they are tangled into each other gradually.
I use my translucent cutting mat and X-Acto knife to cut out the Dutch door. On the back side of the page, I repeated the lines of the page it rests on, sort of like a copy overlapping the other labyrinth. Because of the way this page is cut and bound in this journal, the dots do not exactly overlap each other, which makes the lines, though an exact copy of the other page, slightly misalign. When you flip the page, it looks like the labyrinth sort of changed its shape. I'd like to think of it as the stairs in Hogwarts in Harry Potter or the Triwizard Maze, where they constantly change to lead the people to wrong places. I wanted to repeat the prompt writing in this page as well, but after giving it a second thought, I opted to keep it blank. I think it was more fitting to the theme, that on one page you see it and when you flip, though the maze looks almost identical, the prompt is gone. Let me know what you guys think of this idea. Moving on to the next page, which is a little long-term and short-term goals and task list with a mini calendar in the bottom right corner. At the top, I got lost in connecting the dots with one another with lines overlapping that I eventually came up with a sort of weaving structure that looks symmetrical but isn't. Picked one color from the three Tombow dual tip brushes I own and went for the color 772 called Blush for this setup to draw the lines for the notes section. Moving on to the next spread, I wanted to have a big calendar this month for a whole overview and that's what I did. Making squares for every day with on the top left corner the name of the month and at the bottom a notes section. I think the letters turned out really nice. It's really great to work with the dots I find. Very surprising for me because I'm so used to using blank journals. I thought the dots would be in the way of my drawings and such, but they're quite helpful. What do you guys think? Do you have a dot grid journal yourself or do you prefer blank or any other type? Type of journal? Let me know in the comments, I'd love to see what the majority is.
For the next spread, I have something completely new that I wanted to share with you. If you have seen the setup video for this journal, you already know what it is. If not, I'll briefly explain again. Not going into detail like I did in the previous video, I definitely recommend you check it out though. The link is in the description or in the info icon. This spread or design was inspired by gratitude journaling and mindful living, as well as by my new drawing stencil. Gratitude and mindfulness spreads have been in the Bujo community for a long time. I've seen tons of spreads being made for gratitude lists and mindful thoughts and so on. Everyone has their own preference of course and their own way of using these spreads. For me it has always been a bit overwhelming to come up with a whole list of things that I'm grateful for or a whole page dedicated to mindful journaling. But I really wanted to take both into consideration and needed a way to keep it fun and useful for me to still reflect on things that I'm grateful for and things that I need to be more mindful of. And for this I created this page dedicated to both these things bundled into one. I I call it the reflection hourglass because of its shape and the design. I created a shape with two sections, one on top and one at the bottom, one for gratitude and one for mindfulness, simply put. As mentioned in the previous video, these sections can be whatever you want them to be. For example, in this spread, the first reflection hourglass has a section for things that I am proud of and things that I need to improve. The design of this page can actually be anything you want as well. Keep it as minimal as you like or as decorated and full as you please. I think this design is very fitting with the crescent moons on either side and the overall shape of the design as an hourglass within the middle written June and July indicating the past and the present to reflect on. The idea is to create one of these every month as a monthly reflection page and I think the moons kind of indicate a beginning and an end of that month and the hourglass sort of resets itself every single month. Let me know what you guys think of this idea or share your suggestions. What would your dedicated sections be and what would you write in them? As mentioned before, I will go into more detail in another dedicated stencil and reflection hourglass video. I've shared a blank printable of this template on my website if you're interested from the previous setup. And as I already explained in the last video, I do YouTube and such in my free time, which will be limited soon as I will start online classes to skill up for my full-time job. As filming and editing take up quite some time, unfortunately there are no dated or blank printables for this setup this month or for the following months. I will take a look whether I can manage to share the title page if anything. If I do, they will be available for free on my website. I will leave a link in the description for that. Thank you for your support and understanding. Finally, we have the weeklies. This month I have decided to keep it somewhat similar to my original bullet journal with the Dutch door tabs and design on each side. The border designs are a repetition of the labyrinth style on the title page. I think the pattern looks kinda cool. For the rest, I wanted to use washi tape for the headers for the days of the week but opted to use my Tombow brush again instead, leaving the headers blank. I might doodle something inside later, I haven't decided yet. The letters for the days of the week is something new I tried out and I quite like how they turned out, sort of like an alien or space themed font.
I used my translucent cutting mat and exacto knife again to cut out the Dutch door tabs and colored the tabs in the same color as the headers of the days. I only did the first week with the dates and writing out the days of the week and kept the rest of it sort of empty because they'll eventually be the same layout as the first, which I will fill out once I get to that specific week. I end these spreads with a little calendar at the bottom right corner and with that this setup is done. Hang around for the final flip through and I hope you like this whole setup. I had a lot of fun playing around with the dot grid and I'm happy I was able to share my stencil again with you. Very excited to show you more later. Did you know you could use this stencil as a bookmark as well? So many options. If you enjoyed watching this video, please leave a like so I know and leave a comment with your thoughts. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me on any of my social media linked in the description. Also, don't forget to share your recreations with me on Instagram and follow me there for daily uploads. If you're not yet subscribed but you do enjoy my content, please join the family by subscribing and don't forget to click the bell button if you want to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Our next goal is to hit 2k soon. Thank you for your support and thank you all for watching. I hope you have an amazing day and until next time, keep imagining, keep creating and stay inspired. Bye darlings.